The Lunar 8K-72 vehicles were carrier rockets used by the Soviet Union for nine space probe launch attempts in the lunar program between 23 September 1958 and 16 April 1960. Like many other Soviet launches of that era the Lunar 8K-72 vehicles were derived from the R-7 Semyorka design a variation of the Vostok, part of the R-7 rocket family, which is also the basis for the modern Soyuz rocket. The first flight of a Lunar 8K-72 September 1958, which was to launch the Lunar E-1 No. 1 probe, ended 92 seconds after launch when the rocket broke up from longitudinal vibration aka Pogo, causing the strap-ons to separate from the vehicle, which then crashed downrange. The second flight of a Lunar 8K-72 October 1958, which was to launch the Lunar E-1 No. 2 probe, ended 104 seconds after launch when the rocket again disintegrated from vibration. The third flight of a Lunar 8K-72 December 1958, which was to launch the Lunar E-1 No. 3 probe, ended 245 seconds after launch when the blocker core stage shut down from loss of engine lubricant. The resonant vibration problem suffered by the 8K-72 booster was the cause of a major argument between the Korolev and Glushko design bureaus over the cause and solution to it. It was believed that the vibrations developed as a consequence of adding the block E upper stage to the R7, shifting its center of mass. Topic. Lunar 1 The first probe launched by a Lunar 8K-72 to reach orbit was Lunar 1, launched 2 January 1959, which was intended as a lunar impactor mission. Lunar 1 instead passed within 5,995 km 3,725 miles of the Moon's surface 4 January 1959, and then went into orbit around the Sun between the orbits of Earth and Mars. The fifth flight of a Lunar 8K-72 July 1959 ended 220 seconds after launch due to a guidance malfunction of the Block A core stage, leading to RSO destruct. Lunar 2 Lunar 2 was launched by a Lunar 8K-72 12 September 1959. It was the first spacecraft to impact the lunar surface. Lunar 3 The final successful launch of a Lunar 8K-72 took place 4 October 1959. The Lunar 3 spacecraft took the first photographs of the far side of the Moon. The eighth flight of a Lunar 8K-72 March 1960 ended 435 seconds after launch when the Block E upper stage developed insufficient thrust, causing the lunar probe to re-enter the atmosphere and burn up. The ninth flight of a Lunar 8K-72 April 1960 failed when the Block G strap on booster developed only 75% thrust at liftoff, breaking away from the launch vehicle, which then disintegrated, the strap-ons flying in random directions and exploding as they impacted the ground. The blocker core stage then crashed into a salt lake. 